everybody went right into action. In Urbana, a car accident puts that building on lockdown. Good evening, I'm Dave Benton. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Urbana police are still piecing together a bizarre puzzle. It started with a call about shots fired near Country Club and Willow Roads. WCI3's Anthony Antoine's been following the story for us. Anthony, that call turned out to be a lie. Yeah, Jennifer, police say none of the evidence they've been able to collect thus far points to any gunfire. But since the dust has settled, it seems that we still have more questions than answers. Three cars were driving down Country Club Road at a high speed, and police say all of the people inside knew each other. One of the cars, a maroon Lincoln Mercury, crashed into the bushes. Four people were inside. Three of them got out. A deputy from the Champaign County Sheriff's Office approached the car, drew his weapon, and three of them gave up. But the driver drove off, driving through the parking lot at the Cunningham Children's Home. A second car, a maroon Pontiac, was also left running in the parking lot at the group home. Canine officers were called in to investigate. Now, for all those reasons, the Cunningham Children's Home went on lockdown. Uh, the Urbana police contacted us, and um, we went on immediate soft lockdown, which means uh, doors were locked and kids and staff were kept safe. Just really grateful that everybody followed procedures and everybody was able to stay safe on campus and that Urbana police handled it very well. After police left the scene, the lockdown was lifted. Both of the cars, the Pontiac and the Mercury, were towed off the property. Police did locate the driver of the Mercury. He was given a traffic ticket for reckless driving, not having a valid registration and no insurance. And David and Jennifer, you may notice we've only mentioned two cars in that piece. That's because police are still looking for the driver of a Chrysler that left the scene earlier in the incident. In the newsroom, Anthony Antoine, WCI3, your local news leader. Yeah, I have a feeling more is going to come out of this story. All right, thank you, Anthony.